that's as far as I got. Dropped it, been, not been able to pull it up. So we got a call for a van, and this time it really is precariously perched on a precipice. The person reached out to us and said they would prefer not to perish. How am I doing? That, that was really good. I'm over here trying to think of something. I didn't know we were doing that today. We're not. We're not doing that today. We are, however, giving the weather and the fuel update. All right. Weather is a little stormy outside, like 85 degrees. And I'm peeking at the fuel gauge. It says about a third of a tank. Indicated. Indicated. Who knows what that means? Allegedly, there's a third of a tank in here. Before that, I didn't know where we were going, but I'm excited and pumped anyway. So is Peanut. Yeah, you've adopted Peanut's attitude. Yes. She doesn't know where we're going, but she's just excited. I'm, just, I'm down for it. So this guy's backed over the cliff from the picture. It looks like he's just got one wheel hanging over. We'll go get him. We'll get him out. All right, there it is right there. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. No. I've seen worse. I've rescued a van from here in the mud. Hello. Do you mind being on YouTube? Oh, I'm not sure. Do you? Yeah. All right, we're back. So oddly enough, that customer was a fan of the channel, but he said he did not want to be filmed at all. So I don't know if he was hiding from some sort of uh, authority or not. So I was kind of surprised. I'm like, hey, why did you call a YouTube company to come pull you out? And he's like, oh, I didn't know you were a YouTube company. And this was after he told us he watched all our videos. So I don't know. Anyway, we are going to go get some fizz and go back to the shop and keep working on whatever it was we were working on when we left. This job is going to be a win. It's going to be a win, 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 win. Peanut and I are still stoked. A bad doctor and a good doctor. One of each. And then you wanted a... Beachy king. And a beachy king. Okay, thank you. So I couldn't help but notice that we have a hurricane police officer behind us. So I'm going to pay for his order without him knowing right now. And the order behind me, I'm going to pay for it too. that got his too. Awesome. Thank you. Have, you have a great day. Cheers, lads. Cheers. So we got a call from Matt because we were back in the shop because we both had late nights and we missed the bus for the trail ride this morning. And they're all up wheeling right now. Tom and I were at the yard doing odds and ends and then Matt called us and gave us a job. So we're gonna go try and find this guy. He's up in the Kolob area. We don't have a pin. We just kind of have some sketchy directions. We're gonna try and go find him. See if we can get this guy figured out. I think yeah. he's in a gray truck. I have uh, zero doubts that we're gonna find a gray <laughs> truck somewhere up there. What's, What's the up? weather today like today, Jake? The weather is actually pretty decent. It's warm, it's a little cloudy, which I will take. So I'm not getting, I'm wearing black today. I'm gonna get burnt. People are always worried about the gas. The needle's showing half a tank. I have no idea what that means, so we're here filling up. The GPS says we are about two miles away from where we need to start looking at the instructions. Matt gave us a bunch of clues on how to find this gray truck. So we're gonna look at those and see if we can get on the right track. When you say clues, do you mean clue? <laughs> Gray truck. No, no, there's a there's a couple of clues like turn in a left road after a little hill. Oh, okay. So Okay, so Matt said Step one. Go to Whispering Pines entrance. Follow the road bearing left. Bearing left. Okay. So we're in it's like a subdivision, but for what? Uh, cabins or cabin subdivision? So how stuck do you think this thing's gonna be? That's what I was just wondering. I'm like, if we're in a subdivision, what maybe, what kind of trouble did this guy get into? Maybe it won't be that bad. Matt said we're gonna have to use grit. I was thinking of the movie with the gentleman with the cowboy hat and eye patch. I have no interest in you today. I don't know if he said true grit or just grit. Like, we might need some traction on the road. We'll oh. find out what he meant. We'll see. Soon. So once we get up there, we will follow as the hill drops back down, and he will be at the base of the hill. 
just on the left hand side. I think Tom found a gray truck. And this guy looks happy to see us. I think that's the gentleman right there. How's it going? I love it. I love it. Well, we're glad we found you. We didn't well, have the best directions. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dark when I came in. Should have got out. Checked it out first. Early in the morning. Went on into the normal spot on the thing. Dropped it out. And I hear running water. I've got eight streams running around my truck. Oh, my goodness. So oh, it's my wow. fault. My bad. So he's got his truck here. Oh wow, he's really sunk in the mud there. Oh yeah, he's in he's in pretty deep. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go slosh around in this and see how bad it is. That's as far as I got. Dropped it. Been, not been able to pull it out, throwing rocks in, doing the whole yeah, normal yeah. thing. I can't get it to pop up on the hard. I'm to thinking here. back engine right here, yeah, popping here. this way. Right. Because we could get a pretty good run there. Right. But let's walk around and like look at it real yeah, quick. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go use some grit and we're gonna get this out of there. Some true grit. So I think what we're gonna do is use the 30 foot rope. We're gonna hook up and we're just gonna pull them right on through here. Motor hole buried in the sand. Oh yeah, I just pulled out some huge stuff. Man, that's wild. I just noticed that that's snow over there. It's snow. Yeah. The, oh, it's yeah. the end of May yeah. and there's still snow. Yes. 14 feet they measured out. Wow. Here. I pull it tight and then I'm going to back up and then I'll pop it on pop. the next you one. You want me in four wheel low? Yeah, let's get you four wheel low and I want you to give it just, just a, a tiny idle. bit of gas. Yeah. Let you do the work. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And all you got to do is just get me up on this solid rock section and then you're good, good from there. We're good from there. Just This is where we got the customer unstuck from. Yep, now yep. let's push through. Push through. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, well, you know how this works. What size shirt do you want? Okay, there nobody's, you go. Nobody's gonna believe me. I had Matt there pull you go. me out. Hey, you guys are the men. We're happy to help. That was a pretty quick job. Took a couple of hits and he just popped right out of there. He was super cool, really excited to see us, so that was fun. That was crazy. I've uh, I've heard of the snow melt in Utah, but I've never seen it in person. That gentleman's property was yeah. muddy. Yeah, creeks going everywhere. Thanks for watching.